Australia's largest supplier of building products is changing the way it makes concrete. Every gram of cement we take out, we reduce the CO2 content. Carbon dioxide is released when the materials used to make cement, including limestone, are heated in a kiln. That production process accounts for around 7% of global emissions. So companies like Borrell are developing alternatives. If you think about road infrastructure, there are a couple of state governments that are specifying low carbon concrete. Using lower emissions materials can help a building earn green credentials. The industry-led Green Building Council is expanding its rating system from commercial properties to new homes. The biggest asset in your entire life, your house, we don't have a national disclosure system for that in Australia. Changes to the National Construction Code will be introduced next year, plus a scorecard to assess the energy efficiency of existing homes. But it's voluntary. Beyond environmental concerns, there are also financial reasons homeowners may consider opting in. Research has found properties with features like solar panels or grey water systems are worth more. They're actually being sold at a much higher price compared to the median price for the suburb and also quicker as well. Jason York has seen rising demand for the insulation he installs as homeowners go green. But he warns a box ticked stating a house is insulated is no guarantee it actually works. Thermal properties are only going to go so far until we change the building standards. A message from the front line of building. Stephanie Chalmers, ABC News.